Hello everyone, welcome to the Innovation Lab. So in our video today we are going to do an unboxing and testing of this uh, 1500 watts pure sine wave inverter that I ordered from Amazon. And in case you're wondering, I am uh, going to use this inverter for my next project which is going to be a, a solar generator. And I'm already building the battery pack for it. But for this video, I'm going to use lead acid batteries to uh, do the test. So um, we're going to look at this inverter. Um, I did a, some research online to uh, select the, this inverter for some uh, good reasons. And uh, so in this test, we're going to look at the output waveform. We're going to test the output waveform to make sure that it is actually a pure sine wave inverter. And secondly, we're going to look at the uh, output voltage regulation to make sure it regulates under load. Then we're going to do some load uh, testing. Um, and uh, so basically see how it behaves under high surge uh, inductive load. And uh, finally, we will, we will do an efficiency test. So Cripple, from the spec that I saw on Amazon, the, I believe the uh, claim that it could do about 90% uh, conversion efficiency. So we're going to put that to the test. And uh, yeah, so um, if you would like to see, or if you would like to uh, um, see the project that I'm working on when it's done, please be sure to subscribe uh, to the Innovation Lab. We are going to be doing uh, f uh, cool projects like this and uh, in the future so you get notified. All right, um, let's get into it. So this inverter was made by a company called Creepall, if, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And it's supposed to be a pure sine wave um, DC to AC inverter. So it's rated for continuous power delivery uh, output of 1500 watts and a surge of uh, 3000 watts. So it takes in 24 volts DC and it's supposed to give you 110 volts AC. So this is a really beautiful packaging and design. So the reason why I chose this is because this inverter, I'm gonna put it in, inside an enclosure. So I needed something with a lot of uh, that could withstand a lot of uh, that basically can self cool itself. So and the way they built this is what you see here is like a very really rigid and strong uh, external additional heat sink that they added to this uh, design. And I think it looks pretty good and it will help this inverter cool uh, pretty well. And what we have here is the front side or front view of the uh, inverter. So it's quite simple, very sim uh, simplistic, and I kind of like that it looks this way. There is no unnecessary uh, accessories or displays added to the front side. So what you see here are four outlets. They are kind of uh, redundant, so that that way you don't you don't have to uh, you wouldn't be able to overload uh, one outlet. You can share share your load um, across the four outlets. Also, you have the two LEDs, one green and one red. I believe the, the green it indicates uh, power good and red is low, battery low. And uh, it, of course, you have your um, power enable switch and you have the digital readout here. And the, the samples between input voltage and output AC voltage. And you have a 5 volt USB port here. Now looking at the back side, you see two, also again, very simple. Um, you have two fans that are, are slightly offset. Then you have your battery terminals, the positive and the negative. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. The fans are offset, slightly offset. And I believe that that was done for a reason because usually they position the fans to cool the uh, heat sinks directly. 
So maybe at some point in the future video, we we'll, can open up this uh, unit and look at, show the inside of it. All right, it's time to, uh, let's do some tests on this unit. All right, so here you have the setup. So in this setup, we're going to actually verify the, uh, the, the specs of this uh, inverter. So, and to do that, we're just going to go over a very simple few tests at this stage. We will do more in later in the video. So, but for this setup, we're only going to look at the output waveform and we're going to apply some light load using the fan there. So one, one good thing about uh, pure sine wave inverters is actually it, mim it mimics the uh, the sine wave output that comes out of your main supply from from your home outlet. So so you should be able to drive inductive loads like fans uh, or your fridge or your drills very efficiently without making any noise. So we're going to test that with the fan, and also we have our oscilloscope here. So we're going to use this scope to look at the output waveform and uh, I have a power meter that will actually kind of show us how much load we're putting on this since this doesn't come with a power meter. Then I have uh, my Fluke D uh, D DMM here, digital multimeter, to uh, look at how we're performing uh, the uh, input voltage levels. Then for this test, I am using two 12 ampere hour uh, lead acid batteries uh, in series, so I have 24 volts here. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this guy on and see what it does. So it makes that beep sound. It looks like you have a slow or soft start, as you can see the sine wave. You can't quite see it from afar, uh, but the sine wave uh, output here, slowly, the amplitude slowly, uh, um, peak to peak amplitude slowly rose out there. Um, so yeah, so we have, we turned it on, we have an output. Our, our DMM here is reading 24.9. So the good thing about the, so we have an output, but the fan is off. So let's go ahead and we turn on the fan. Oh, so the fan is not connected. So we'll, first of all, we connect the fan. Sorry about that. So now we turn on the fan. So as you can see, at full speed, the fan is drawing um, close to uh, 97 watts of load there. And if you can, as you can hear, the fan is running very smoothly. And also the next thing to look at will be the output of the, actually the waveform on, on, the, uh, on, on, the, on the oscilloscope. So let's go ahead and look at that at close range. So now let's look at what's, what's actually going on with the, at the output of this inverter. So and in order to do that, I place the watt meter um, next to the oscilloscope. And forgive me if uh, my hands shake a little bit, so I'm using my phone to record this video. Um, so now the scope, we set the scope to 50, the vertical scale is set to 50 volts peak to peak, sorry, 50 volts per division. And um, so now and the inverter is off you can see there's no output voltage there there's no waveform there so let's see what happens when we turn this on so turning on so we turn on so you can see the output response there so what that is called is a soft start it means you slowly go from zero volts peak to peak to 120 volts and this is uh for the most part is desirable so that that way um you're not slamming your output or your load with uh, um, undesirable uh, power uh, when you start your inverter. So now let's look at what the, uh, the scope is uh, measuring. So as you can see, the first reading there on the right is our output uh, voltage AC RMS. You can see that it's maintaining 120 volts 
output and um, the frequency if you look down at the bottom here so you can see the frequency there is right at 60 60.1 60.2 hertz so which is quite uh, what we are shooting for and that is desirable so now let's apply load keep in mind that all of this is a zero load as you can see at the power meter so let's turn on our fan here that's our fan so we go to high speed highest speed so as you can see again we're looking to see if there's a drop in the output voltage see how how well this inverter is regulating so if we go ahead and stop the uh, waveform there you can see that we are staying at 119 120 so that's good output regulation even with a load of 97 watts um, so we are going to do more testing on this with uh, higher loads and to see how this uh, holds up this output regulation holds up but yes so you can see this is very clean uh, sine wave that this inverter is putting out and I am very impressed I am very happy and uh, yeah so let's look forward to the actual load testing of this unit with uh, uh, more load load on it now in this section of the video we, we're going to test the, uh, the uh, pure sine wave inverter and to see uh, its uh, performance under some uh, um, inductive high surge loads so and again this is my setup I have my uh, saw here but I'm not gonna use this one for now I'm gonna use the uh, table saw that's over there so I have on my setup here, I have the inverter, I have my battery, uh, batteries hooked up, 24 volts, and I have, I have my scope, a digital um, power meter. So I am going to be using this Ryobi uh, table saw. I couldn't find the, it's rated for 15 amps, but I'm thinking that could be uh, the surge condition so it got me worried that it could be a little bit uh, more powerful for this inverter to handle so what I am going to do is to do an initial testing on this unit plug it in to to, uh, to kind of test the uh, power draw with you know with the AC uh, from the house and to see so that way I can tell if uh, my inverter can drive this load because I definitely don't want to damage the inverter so let's play it safe so at this point we are going to actually uh, test the inverter by actually uh, doing some uh, plywood cutting and uh, while uh, we are running this we will be keeping an eye on the oscilloscope this to monitor what happens and the power meter so you can see every time we make a cut you can see it on the scope you can see kind of a uh, THD uh, effect uh, THD stands for total harmonic distortion um, what you know what I'm looking at is the inverter is able to uh, drive through the load and uh, and it's like uh, nothing is happening really so I'm really really impressed so doing the second cutting and you see the same thing again um, but it drives the, uh, the saw very efficiently so when, once again I'm, I'm really really impressed so uh, yeah um, there we come to the end of it my friends uh, I know I promised to do an efficiency measurement but for some reason, my uh, digital uh, DC power meter uh, got delayed and I received it almost like a few minutes ago before posting this video. But I promised that uh, um, I will make a, a different, uh, another video uh, to show uh, uh, the batteries that I'm gonna be using for my next project. Uh, sorry yes the project i've been talking about the solar generator i am testing this uh, inverter with uh, 
some lead acid batteries but in that uh, I'm going to be testing it with uh, in the actual project I'm going to be testing it with uh, um, lithium phosphate batteries so yeah so this is the unboxing of the uh, of the uh, DC power meter so and I'm going to show use it for the next video so uh, if you like videos like this uh, please uh, so support our channel by su subscribing it's very uh, encouraging to know that there are people out there who find values in the and videos like this and there's quite a lot of uh, effort that goes into uh, making videos like this so support our channel by subscribing and uh, leave us comments on things if you have future videos that you would like to see uh, leave us comments and uh, we will most uh, we will be very happy to uh, uh, do those projects and uh, Hopefully it uh, helps more people. So thanks again for watching and uh, uh, once again, uh, subscribe to our channel uh, to show some support.